what's going on YouTube? This is CJ and I have a new Nothing Ventured for you. This one's going to be a little bit different because I actually have multiple videos that will kind of be connected to this one. But the main thing is that this video is all about my uh, road trip down to Vegas with some of my friends. There was a lot of content that was made over this weekend. So I decided rather than having one huge, massive video about it, I am going to split it up into little parts. Also for the fact that, <laughs> it's funny how this got planned out, but next month I am going back down to Vegas with my mom and my dad, so I'll be adding more content after that. So the rundown is, for this Nothing Ventured episode, it's going to be all about more of the road trip and the adventures that we went on, seeing as that's more of what Nothing Ventured is about. And then later on, I'm going to make a video more about like the hotels that we saw and like the sites in general, because that's more of just like a happiness sort of thing rather than like going out there and doing random awesome stuff with my friends. So let us transition over to the clips. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all to Nothing Ventured, Vegas Road Trip Edition. guys so of course one of the most important parts about a road trip is having the tunes with you so we made sure that we were all set Ooh, lots of brightness going on right here with the sun but uh, yeah we got everything from lost profits I'll move this lost profits payable on death pod if you ever heard about them and then uh, the Legend of Zelda soundtrack for Majora's Mask oh yes thank you Club Nintendo Persona 4 uh, the awesome Halo 3 soundtrack, Retro City Rampage, if you've ever heard about that, and then also Daft Punk, we have Discovery, we have the Tron Legacy, kind of bootleg edition, but Tron Legacy soundtrack, we have Year Zero from Nine Inch Nails, we have Linkin Park, because Hybrid Theory is a classic, of course we have True, because a VC is one of my favorites, and then Dead Mouse because he is a road trip requirement. And Zed because also one of my favorites. And if that isn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, we also have a uh, audio cord that's going for my brother's phone up in the front. So yeah, we're pretty set on music. And I no cannot wait till we actually get there because yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And also there's a little bit of a time difference between here, um, between Utah and Las Vegas, which I always forget about. So that'll be really cool to be able to get that extra hour in when we get there. It's gonna suck to lose the extra hour when we're driving back, but still. All right, so it's closing in on 11 o'clock and the wearisomeness of long nights is definitely starting to dawn upon us. My friend Will over here, <laughs> We just went by an overpass, so like, everything's dark out here and all we see are the lights from the cars. And then all of a sudden there's this overpass that goes over us, right? And there's a car that's going across it and Will just says... <laughs> I thought it was a plane. <laughs> he thought it was a plane. He thought that car was a plane. I love this guy, he's hilarious. <laughs> all right guys, we're at the last two hours before we get to, um... We're in St. George right now, but yeah, we're about two hours away from being able to make it all the way back to Vegas. So yeah, let's hope they actually get a reservation when we show up. Also, we have a poolside view now. <laughs> Tis the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally here. And I don't know why I'm speaking in slightly hushed tones, but yeah. Ah, uh, eh, whatever, it's Vegas. Lights are on and... Okay, there you go, Well. Oh, perfect and beautiful beds. They look so comfy. Oh, we never decided who's gonna share beds. We'll figure it out. All right. And of course, what is required? <clears throat> I have to make the pillow fluffiness check. Ugh. 
this desk was just made for the peace. Yeah, I think this is good. This will be acceptable, ladies and gentlemen. This is me peacing out for the night. See you later. They close. All right, so it's like almost three o'clock in the morning, and Nick <laughs> and Will and I are playing Advanced Wars on Will's 3DS, and we're just passing it around between each other. So we're having fun playing our hot seat games. All of us have the trifecta of computers, that being Chromebook, MacBook, and then uh, Will's thing. This is better. <laughs> this is two one. That is pretty impressive. And uh, Will, would you mind showing me what you are uh, playing right there? This is Fire Emblem. Yeah, we're work. all nerds around here. Mm -hmm. He is the okay, coolest of all the nerds. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm uploading videos for from my Twitch channel. So, hey, look. Plug for my Twitch channel. This is what it looks like. And now you can see all my other tabs, but whatever. How is it that you know that I'm going on some sort of long trip? Well, you see, I brought five fedoras. We were here two nights, but I, I brought five fedoras just in case, because, you know, you, you always want to make sure you have plenty of fedoras. Well, maybe that's just me, but, you know, whatever. All right, guys, we are out here for day number two. Well, morning number one, but, like, second day, whatever. We fell asleep, we woke up in Vegas. So, anyway, we are now here for day number two of Las Vegas time, just chilling. There's a little view of what we're passing by. And yeah, we'll see what adventures unfold today. All right, guys, so original Vegas plans. Originally, we're gonna have to leave early Sunday morning, so this was gonna be a really short uh, little trip because Nick over here had to do work early on Friday, or on Sunday, not Friday. Friday was when we got here. Anyway, but... I was able to get it off because I'm awesome and I do such a good job of work. My manager was working, willing to work with me, so... Yeah, we can leave whatever we want on Sunday. Yeah, pretty good stuff. So this is just pristine right here. We have 14 floors that we just walked up, and this is what we'd like to do down each of them. Nick, if you would. Oh, yeah. I would like to welcome you all to the Venetian, one of the places that uh, is rather cool around here in Vegas. It has beautiful inside. I'll show you a little bit of that in a second. And I'll show you a video of Nick flipping a coin. So it's really cool. There's um, the fountain that's inside the Venetian that I'm about to show you. It takes the money, all the coins that you get from in there, and uh, it gives those for people who need help with uh, rehab from drug abuse. So that's pretty cool, and uh, let's check it out, shall we? Nailed it. Now guys, if you want to find one of the most beautiful hotels, I'm not going to say that it's not pricey, because of course, Vegas, but if you want to see one of the most beautiful hotels, check out the Wynn, because they have like amazing scenery. They do so much around here. I mean like, I'll just have you guys check this one little area out. It's just freaking beautiful. They do an amazing job. This place decor is amazing. There isn't an inch of this hotel this, that isn't just wall-to-wall -wall glitz, glamour, and beauty, I swear. Welcome to Vegas. This is what it's like. <laughs> Seriously, just look at this hallway. Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. It's just like straight. Everything is clean. They have a random painting of a butterfly right there. I mean... That, that's how you know that you've gotten to the right place, when you have a fancy painting. So the if y'all ever happen to be in Vegas and you want to check out a mall, fashion, uh, I was about to say fashion place, no. Fashion show is the place to be, because just look at all that. This place is wall to wall, packed, glitzy, glamorous, again, that's just how Vegas is. It's, it's crazy being here, especially as a broke college student, because you know, me. <laughs> Now when I say this place has everything, I mean everything. They have a Justice right here. They have a freaking Hello Kitty store right here that you pretty much never see. 
then right across the way is Vans and GameStop. So all different types of cultures, all different types of crazy stuff, and absolutely all of them look like significantly classier than they would anywhere else. So it's pretty insane, you know. Again, Vegas. And of, what, of course, what would fashion show be without their runway where they do their fashion shows? Like, legit, they have little DJ booths over here and everything where they will do fashion shows. This mall is so cool. So little did I know that not only for this trip to Vegas did I get to have all these fun events with my friends that I planned out, but impromptu DJ set. Yeah, pretty sweet. And if it wasn't cool enough already, the platform and the runway down there elevate. I'm not sure how well you can hear me because of the music, but yeah, this yeah, is be pretty sweet. <laughs> so, limos in Vegas. Look inside. <laughs> <laughs> this, this thing's powerful. So we are now entering. Oh wow. Ooh, the lounge. That is so cool. Oh dang, look at this. I mean everything around here. This place is awesome. Bam. Hello little space. Hello. Let me give you a quick comparison between all of the cars that you can find here in Vegas. So there's our ride. Looking pretty sick, right? I know it. It got trash on the inside and all that good stuff. And then you see three or four sports cars right behind them, looking sharp as ooh, baby. Those are just all amazing. right. As some of you may remember, there was a Advance Wars game that we started up on the first night that we were here. We stayed up and played that until like four o'clock in the morning. It was so much fun. So we were just like, we got there late, we were just settling in, we were just having a good time. So we thought, eh, why not stay up late, it's all good. But <laughs> it was quite hilarious because we're actually still in the middle of it. And like, we've played the first night for a few hours, we played the second night for a while, now it's on the third night, or the third afternoon, I guess. And it's still going. Yeah, this game is nuts. These guys are too good. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. It, that's gonna be the continual thing until we get all the way back home. I don't even know. And if there wasn't enough random things that happened here in Vegas, accordions in the Venetian. Who knew? Because MGM wasn't already cool enough with all of its lions, it just had to get a giant freaking gold line right in the middle of the square. Alright guys, so I am about to get to my section of the driving for the way back, but we are now leaving Vegas ever so sadly. Ugh. But I'll be back in a little while anyway. In a, about a month actually, yeah. I'll be back in a month for my mom's birthday. I swear this doesn't happen often, it just happened to coincide like this. But anyway, gotta ask the classic question, what was your favorite part of the trip? Will! That DJ was pretty impressive. Very respectful. Very respectful oh, indeed. So yeah. And now for Mr. Nick Day. That is a good question. I honestly just like being able to come down here and chill. <laughs> just randomly on a whim for a little bit. That was really, really nice. But also all the random my favorite part was probably all the random serendipitous stuff that happened to pop up, like the fashion show, random according guy in um in the Venetian. In the Venetian. The random accordion guy in the Venetian. Just all sorts of crazy random stuff that you wouldn't usually expect. So it was awesome. This is very true. This is very true indeed. We ran into a lot of very random things that I wasn't expecting, but it all turned out to fall the better. As for myself, I think best part kind of half and half between just being able to come down here and being like okay guys let's get in the car and get going it's a mixture between that just the whole fact of us going down here and being here and the other half being my <laughs> I shouldn't call him one of my heroes but he's a really great guy that I met uh, it was really cool finally getting to meet Skyward Wing because he he's just 
And there are a lot of factors about him that are very desirable, such as that, like, he stands up against bullying. That's one of the main things. And he's an absolutely down-to-earth, hilarious guy. Overall, everything about him was great. So, 10 out of 10. Great road trip. I'll do it again next year. And until then, uh, I guess I'll be signing off for today. But yeah, I'll see you guys all around on more of my videos. And this is CJ, as always, signing off and saying, Keep Yo, what's smiling. up guys? So, uh, original plans, we were heading out of here. I did that last little vlog section and then uh, we had a little bit of car trouble. So now we are at Jiffy Lube and we are uh, trying to get this car. Oh, there's some sun flare. <laughs> a little lens flare, whatever it's called. But yeah, uh, now we are here at Jiffy Lube and trying to get that fixed up. So we'll see how long that takes. So, yeah, see you eventually, maybe. <laughs> All right, so after, yes, that is your elbow. <laughs> All right, so after a very brief and totally chill uh, two and a half hour detour. <laughs> you know our exact position right now, guys. How does that make you feel? Anyway, so after quick two and a half hour detour over uh, trying to get this car to work and over at Jiffy Lube to make sure everything was good, we are now on the road again! Yay! All right, so now we have a few hours left for the drive back, but yeah, now official getting out of Vegas ending fun stuff. Yeah, go. Back from Vegas, we lived, it's all good car trouble's done, so yeah, I'm passing out because I have work tomorrow, but I will see you all, uh, I'll see you guys all around on some of my other videos. This is CJ signing off, and as always, keep smiling. Mm -hmm.